So let's open up our app. We're going to skip our baseline because we're just going to be talking about correlation. Tap the correlation icon. And since I'm not logged in, the first thing that you're required to do is to either sign into your SweetBeat account or to create an account because this is where we're going to be downloading the information from. But I'm not going to do that at the moment because I'm going to show you a demo. So I'm going to go to your settings screen and I'm going to select demo one and we put demo one and demo two into correlation in the event that you don't have any data to correlate. Uh, it's a nice way to see how the correlation works before you set yourself up. I'm going to say go and now Sweet Beat Life is going out and it's checking for Fitbit data. It's then going to be checking for Map My Fitness and Wythings data. So this is demo one. The blue bubble is your primary metric. So what I'm doing here is I am correlating between my HRV and all the other metrics I have. So the blue bubble is the primary bubble. These are the secondary bubbles and they will go in descending order depending on the correlation. So the first bubble which has the highest correlation is HRV. So HRV correlated to itself is the highest. Now the reason that we put the HRV bubble in there is because you can tap this and you can see the difference between your first HRV, which was 63 on 11 20 2013, the last HRV, which was 65 on 3 27 14, and then you can see the percent of change and the actual average and the change. So at any time, feel free to press bubbles because bubbles have a lot of information for you. So if I look, I can tell that respiration had a very high correlation with my HRV and it was a negative correlation because the bubble is colored red. So a negative correlation would mean that the data is moving in different directions. So as my HRV goes up, my respiration goes down. As my respiration goes up, my HRV goes down. But we can tell that there is a correlation. The next correlator is temp. So I can also see that when my HRV goes up, my temperature goes down. When my temperature goes up, my HRV goes down. And then the next correlation would be stress until the lowest correlation, which would be my activity. So let's go back to the settings screen because the settings screen is a very, very powerful screen because we can configure this to show and to do many, many things. So the primary blue bubble was set and is initialized to HRV, but if you wanted to see your stress correlated with all your other metrics, it's stress, weight, or blood pressure. Now, weight and blood pressure come from Wythings, so you would need a Wythings account and you would need to download that data. So let's just, for example, let's look at weight. We'll go back, we'll hit go, and there is no weight for demo two because we have to go back to the select data screen and we need to turn on our weight, Fitbit data, I'm also going to want to see my Vital Connect data and map my fitness. This screen allows you to not only download information from the vendors such as Fitbit, Wythings, or MapMyFitness, 
but then it'll also give you the ability to select which metrics you want to see in your correlation. So for example, maybe I don't want to see my Vital Connect steps, but I do want to see my Fitbit steps. And I'm really, really not interested in calories in. I actually don't have any blood pressure information in this demo, so I'm going to take that out. And let's go back and recorrelate our data. Hit the Go button. And there's no primary data at all. The reason there's no primary data is because you have to hit the refresh button to download from the vendors. I'm going to change this, but for the time being, if you do change your vendors, you have to hit refresh. Ah, there is all my information now. As you can see, my last weight on 6-30-2014 was 131. My average weight for this time period, September 12, 2012 to 630, my average weight was 129 pounds. There's a one pound difference. My first weight was 130. My last weight was 131. Now, let's go look at what my minimum weight was. This always makes me maximum weight was 138. During this time period, my minimum weight was 122 on May 7th. So, as you can see, I'm up a couple pounds at this point. Let's go back to settings because we also have the ability to select a range. So this would be your start date. This would be the end date. You can select anything you want. And what this will do, it will limit the amount of information that we use for correlation. So if you're interested in only seeing maybe a six month period or a specific period of time, you can select that range. I'm gonna go back to all my data. Another important feature is the min and max. So I have it defaulted to be three days uh, for your minimum and max. So if you want to see when was my maximum HRV, I will go back three days, look at your sessions, and do the correlation on three days. If you're an athlete and you had very high HRV at some point, you wanted to see what was I doing uh, anywhere from 3 to 30 days prior to that, this is where you would set that configuration. Once again, you'd say go. Now, my minimum weight, since I set it for 28 days, uh, is going to be from 4-9-2013 to 5-7, which was my minimum weight. So I go back in time. I hope this has helped. It's very, very configurable. It's very flexible. But you do